what's happening guys first of all thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel i really appreciate all the support you guys are showing me we've just hit 100 subscribers for some of you it might not seem like such a big deal to me it's a massive deal and i'm completely humbled that any of you would want to watch my content so thank you thank you thank you and i'm hoping that this will be the start of something awesome but now for today's video after the initial leak earlier this week a full set of details for the entire upcoming radian rx 6000 series has found its way online detailing a total of four SKUs, including the flagship RX 6900 XT, which at this point looks like it could be an AMD exclusive, meaning that you will not be able to buy this from a board partner company like Asus or Gigabyte or MSI, and that it would only be available from AMD, so you'll have the reference AMD design, which doesn't look too bad. At least until next year or until more information comes along and we'll find out if AMD will allow the board partners to actually also make their own variant of the RX 6900. The RX 6900 XT will feature full 80 compute units or a total of 520 stream processors and come with 16 gig of GDR6 memory on a 25-bit memory interface. The GPU should work at 2.040 megahertz for the game clock and boost at 2.330 megahertz one step down from the rx 6900 xt will be the rx 6800 xt and the rx 6800 and then a little step below that you will get the rx 6700 xt and the rx 6700 but those ones only look to be relaunched by 2021 hopefully early in the quarter one amd is really going after the rtx 3080 with early fire strike benchmarks showing that the rx 6900 xt beats the rtx 3080 by a whopping 8.5 percent 11,500 points on ultra versus the mere 10,600 points of the rtx 3080 these seems to be a rumor at this point. We're not 100% sure if we'll actually see these results, but who knows? It is still very promising. To think that we would get a GPU that will beat the RTX 3080 from AMD is good. They are not launching anything that I can see that will compete with the RTX 3090 though. And unfortunately, this has always been the issue with AMD. They've never been able to really compete with the very top end. And they kind of always go and try and compete with the second tier graphics card. In this case, the RTX 3080 that NVIDIA has launched. Now, I know there's not a big difference between the 3090 and the 3080 conservatively in most games. But NVIDIA still has the claim of the best graphics card in the world. And the best thing that AMD can do at this point is try and compete with the second best graphics card in the world, which is the RTX 3080. This is all great news, but if we have issues with supply from AMD on the RX 6900 XT, like we've had with Nvidia, this could be a very <coughs> launch because we will not be able to get a graphics card in our hands that can compete with the RTX 3080 from AMD that's not going to be a great Christmas for any of us. So let's hope that AMD can pull something from the hat here and get us graphics cards in our hands for Christmas. We can game on it. And I think that's the only way that they're going to actually make any difference with these cards. My last thought would be that the RX 6800 XT hopefully is quite close to the 6900 XT. That way, we can still get a competing offer from AMD to compete with that RTX 3080 by Christmas time. That would be great to see. Although these are synthetic benchmarks, we've got no idea what real game performance may look like. This does give me a little bit of hope. So let's hope that AMD really pulls through for the sake of all of us and our budgets and wallets, of course. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it again. Thank you very much for everybody that has subscribed. If you haven't yet, now's the time. Hit that like button and I will see you on Monday for the next video.